After 14 months at last, Amanda Knox is on trial for the murder of the girl she called a friend. Casually dressed and looking relaxed, this is where her fate will be decided. And alongside the American student in a Perugia courtroom, her former boyfriend, Raffaele Solecito. The pair accused of causing the horrific injuries that killed Meredith Kircher in the home she shared with Knox. Meredith's family had wanted these proceedings held behind closed doors. The judge refused. He did ban TV cameras. The Kircher's family lawyer told me that was a relief. So I would say that the decision regarding the exclusion of photographic and video cameras is sufficient to guarantee that the good image of Meredith is preserved. Amanda Knox's family, speaking to their local King 5 TV station in Seattle, say she deserves an open trial. Just horribly trashed her, her um, you know, entire character, and it's, com it's not who she is. She's 100% innocent in this whole thing, and, it, and she had nothing to do with this. It's not far from the courthouse where that trial is taking place to here, the house where Meredith Kircher and Amanda Knox lived. There are still the remnants of a few flowers in memory of Meredith. What the police found here in terms of DNA evidence is going to be crucial in the trial, and whether that DNA evidence is reliable. Police videos taken at the time show the mattress on Meredith's bed, marked with evidence numbers. As the camera pans across the room, a rug scuffed up and piles of what appear to be clothes and blankets. Detectives believe what was found here is enough to convict both suspects. The marks on the wall tell the story of the violence with which Meredith's life ended. In the bathroom, too, signs of bloody evidence. And not far away, the clothes that have belonged to Meredith in life. Defence lawyers say these searches were bungled, the DNA evidence is contaminated and can't be relied upon. Lawyers for both defendants say justice has already been done. Drifter Rudy Gueda, already serving 30 years for Meredith's murder, they say acted alone. Another feature of this case is the enormous amount of media interest it's generated, some of it macabre, some of it salacious, but today more than ever. Some 130 people have accreditation to be in the court and listening to the evidence. Some of the media took over the cage inside court, normally reserved for mafia suspects, a protest against cramped conditions. Others watched on a video link. The court will still be closed during sensitive evidence in this trial. Everyone will have a long wait. The trial is expected to last into the autumn. With appeals, it may take another year. Justice for Meredith won't come quickly.